Welcome. I'm excited to introduce you to Rhonda Dickens. She's an outpatient psychotherapist. And today I'd love to talk about depression because some people deal with it for short amounts of their uh, life or throughout their whole life. So what are some of the symptoms of depression? That is very tricky because depression looks different um, mm -hmm. depending on the person. So depending on the root of the depression, depending on the length of de the depression, depends on how that depression is going to manifest for that person. Some of the key things that you can look, look at is a consistent period of a depressed mood state. So what is a depressed mood state? A depressed mood state would be feeling sad. A depressed mood state would be feeling worthless, feeling mm. empty, feeling drained. So not just feeling sad, worthless, or empty or drained for a day, but a consistent pattern of that. Um, another thing is diminished interest in activities that you used to love. So when you start to see your loved ones and they're totally withdrawing from things that they used to love, they're withdrawing from their friends and their family, that is a warning sign. You may want to check in on that person. Another thing would be um, either weight loss or weight gain. We are emotional eaters. We want to eat what makes us feel good. And so oftentimes if we're in a state of depression where we're not feeling good about ourselves, we'll either withdraw from eating or eat more to make ourselves feel better. Um, another thing is what we call insomnia or hypersomnia. A lot of people know what insomnia is, and that is when it's very, very hard to go to sleep. Sometimes people suffer from racing thoughts and things like that. But a lot of people don't know hypersomnia. And that being a sign of depression. And what hypersomnia is, is when it's very, very hard to stay awake. You're waking up and you want to go back to sleep. You don't want to face the day. You want to stay in the bed. And so that is another sign of it. Um, one of the warning signs that that is really, really a trigger or alarm to me is recurrent thoughts of death. And so that comes a lot with depression. And it may not just be um, Am I going to die? When am I going to die? But thinking of loved ones that died. So being in this state where you're almost normalizing death. So those are some of the things that are the trigger points for depression. It, and again, that manifests differently depending in the person, depending on the root of that. Um, I would like to say, though, if there's anyone that are experiencing experiencing those things, one of the things that you would like to do as an action step is just make sure that you're really, really aware of yourself. So you're assessing yourself first. What am I doing differently from what I normally do? Am I withdrawing? Am I getting to a point where I'm thinking negative, self-defeating thoughts about myself? What am I doing differently? So that's where you start. You start by looking at your patterns and what you're doing differently. Then after that, what you try to do, which is easy for some people, but a little bit more difficult for others, is you try to assess what is the root of this? Am I withdrawing because my grandmother died and I'm grieving? Am I withdrawing because I'm in a toxic relationship and I can't breathe? Like you try to identify what some of those root triggers are. And the reason that you want to try to do that is because for some people, if they can identify the root, they can pluck it out. Right. So if the root is I'm overwhelmed at work, then they know they need to take a step back. If the root is I'm not in my self-care pattern, then they know they need to take a step back. But for some people, the root is a little bit bigger than what they can deal with. And when you start to see that the root is a little bit bigger or I can't identify the root, but this is how I feel. Then at that point, that's when you seek out someone that can assist you with that. Amazing information. Thank you so much, Rhonda. You're welcome. Thank you for joining us.